it's good for us to get that understanding of why power is important and why we must strive for greatness just like our ancestors did. Right. So, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I would like to introduce this queen. Her name is Rhonda Heyman. She's a very, very intelligent hey. woman. And I want her to come up here and, and build with us. Hello. Hello, everyone. Wow. How are you? Hello. 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 Mom, yours is the 16th. My mom's birthday is the 9th. Yeah. Oh, okay, your mom. My yeah. mom's birthday is August 8th. Wow. Oh, wow. Crazy. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. Did you we see just the connection? So, yo, this is all, oh, man, this is all. Real up, quick, man. can I get y'all just to move in a little bit more yeah, towards? Yeah, come on, come on down. Come and, on down. Yeah, because my camera angle gets mostly from that corner. There we go. There we go, we good. Yeah, we're all up in this building. Oh, man, Leo in the building. Yes. Yeah. So that, that makes Powerhouse sense. leaders. There right, you go. Oh, man. It's on, y'all. <laughs> it's on. It's on right now. Yes. That's the sun cr- is shining. Yes, it is. There you go. For the glorious evening. Oh, man. It's that Leo energy, man. man. That, that's my mom's, too. I felt that energy. You know, my mom's, she, I, my sister's in Leo, too. She passed oh, wow. away. Though. Yeah. She, her husband's yeah, August 5th. My family is Leo's. Yeah. Almost. Vibrations, yeah. yeah. It's either Leos or Scorpios. Wow, that's crazy. Yeah, bless, bless. Yeah, bless. Oh man, so yeah, I heard so much about you. So you're a lawyer. Yeah. So beautiful. You know, my name is Rhonda Heyman, uh-huh. and you know, I grew up in the city of Gardena, mm. unincorporated Los Angeles, mm. and I live approximately maybe three miles. Mm. That might be a stretch mm. from the Compton Courthouse. Wow. And I'm sort of like full circle. Wow. You know? Yeah. I went away to Tuskegee mm-hmm. for um, undergrad. Mm-hmm. At Alabama? Tuskegee, Alabama. Oh, wow. And, you know, yeah. there I came across the chain gangs. Wow. Mm-hmm. And, you know, fighting at the age of 19 mm-hmm. against the Alabama chain gangs. Wow. Where they would chain you up and make you work. Mm-hmm. And, you know, wow. most of the people look like everyone on this panel. Wow. Yeah, so that was yeah. age 19. Wow. At the- Alabama. In uh, Tuskegee, Alabama. Well, wow. Union Springs, Alabama, yeah. and uh, the state of Alabama itself. Mm. Wow. And that he ran away. He was uh, fought a white man in Selma, Alabama. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's how my family got out here in Compton. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Fighting a get to get away from, I guess, the chain gangs and, you know what I'm saying, the... Um, Oppression. The, yeah, the oppression of Alabama. Anybody that's ever, you know, like a lot of my family come from Alabama. Right. And Alabama is, whew. Wow. Mm. Was, Tuskegee was great, though. Yeah. One yeah. of the best decisions of my life, you know. Mm-hmm. Such a source of, of course, my family, my mother and my father, mm. uh, being the heroes that they are. Mm. You know, I am because they've made me with the grace of God, of course. Mm. But, uh, you know, going through Tuskegee, mm. you know, I grew up. And, you know, I, I'm a Delta, Pledge Delta there. Hey. You know, pledging in the South is serious business. Hey, that's all right. that's all right. It's serious business. Yes. Yeah, exactly. I and imagine. so, yeah, Pledge Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Right. right. You know, became a president of, you know, vice president, brought in people to Delta. Mm. So, you know, it was a wonderful time in my life. Mm. And then I knew I was coming back home, though. Right. And then I went. I attended Willamette University for law school Beautiful. and um, was the only black woman in my class. Wow. Wow. And you can say that I did very well at each of those locations. 
Yeah. Wow. I represented wow. very well. Mm. Because, you know, I just have always, um, like my law school professor told me, that if I chose anything other than being a trial lawyer, mm -hmm. I'd be missing my calling. Right. And so I went on from there and I started practicing law at, in Orange County at the Public Defender's Office. Wow. In 2001. Mm. 2001. Y'all was young. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so you've been putting in a lot of work over the years. 23 yeah. years yeah. of wow. successful, wow. successful representation. I can run into my clients, mm. and I'm not afraid. Mm -hmm. People say, you give your clients your cell phone number for 23 years. Mm. They can contact me on my cell phone. See, that's like that's somebody I would like. See, that's a yeah. that's a real leader right there. Yeah. That's a, that's in touch with the people. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah I live my life that way. Mm -hmm. You know, I came back home and I worked at the ACLU, mm -hmm. and at the time, uh, the jails were overcrowding. Mm -hmm. So the ACLU sued the county jail, mm -hmm. the sheriff, and said, "Clean up your act." So they got like a they came up with an agreement. So we would go in and make sure that people had. Toilet paper, that they weren't sleeping on the floor, that people from the LGBTQ community, when they're transitioning, mm. would not be placed. If you're transitioning to a woman, mm. then you wouldn't be placed with men. Mm -hmm. So we were guaranteeing safety, mm. so just humanity mm -hmm. for people. Right. And so that's just been my calling. Mm -hmm. And I've always been courageous, though. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the Leo in me. Yeah, I can <laughs> see it. Yeah. You know? People, you know what I'm saying, they do things and they they, they don't stand on it. Ooh. You know Sometimes it's tough to stand, yeah. but you gotta stand. Yeah. Mm. What good does it do to gain the world and lose your soul? Yeah, hey, I hear that. That's a fact. Yeah. That's I hear a fact. That. Yeah. Hey. Stand on I'd it. rather have my soul. Right. Right. I really yeah. would. And I've been living that life. And uh the fact that Compton Court is so close to my house, I'm full circle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because I worked in Orange County for three years, did an amazing job for my clients there. Right. Amazing. Right. Which equals not guilties and dismissals and justice. Amazing. You know? Because um, the system is unfair. Right. Yeah. And, and that's the reality yeah. of it. That's not from a defense perspective. It's unfair because too much power in the wrong hands. Right. Yeah. Could you give us some examples? Okay, well, my client's been charged with a crime. Mm -hmm. Can I get the video, please? Yeah. The day before the jury starts coming in. Oh, and please don't punish the lawyer who's fighting for the video. If it's on video and he stole what the, you say he stole, why do I have to receive the video while the jurors are coming in? Mm -hmm. And this case has been pending Damn. for 90 days, 60 days. Mm -hmm. Why do I have to receive 500 pages of discovery after you, the district attorney, Mm. And or the judge mm. say that this case must go to trial and you deem the attorney ready. Eh. And then you get discovery dropped on you in the middle of the trial. You say, I'm not going to have a chance to review this right. before we selected the jury. Mm. How do I know that there's not something damaging in this discovery that the jurors won't like? Mm -hmm. That's unfair. Well, and those are facts, and that happens. Wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. And then when you go up against the system that's and you don't so toe the line, mm. when you don't toe the line, mm. then they come for you. Mm. They come for you. Mm. But I stand against them, and I have stood against them for 23 years, and still I rise. You got the real balls. Yeah, that was heavy. That's heavy. I've actually, I, I think you, I think it was in the kind of situation where you was like, they just giving me the information. And I was like, what? You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. it's like a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, dealing with discovery, you know what I'm saying? For those who really don't understand, the discovery is the evidence that's been brought against you by the people, supposedly. Yeah, the videos, you know the witnesses, mm -hmm. whether they have records, whether they have a bias against you, mm -hmm. all that stuff that it's not given up without a fight most of the time. Right. right. You know, you are in court during the course of the day, and then you get in discovery at 4.51 p.m. the day before the preliminary hearing, the hearing where you're determining whether the California can charge you with a felony or not. 
Your lawyers receiving discovery while she's in court or just finished court the day before your hearing. Mm -hmm. And then when you go into court, the judge says, oh, no, you have to do this prelim. But I haven't had a chance to review what has been provided by the DA. Mm -hmm. But the problem is, is that these are people who are considered voiceless. They don't have a voice. Mm -hmm. And those who speak for them are, oh, we're shady, we're vilified, we're not worthy. But mm -hmm. what this does is it teaches me to learn the law mm -hmm. and learn it cold. Right. Wow. And, you know, and because I started fighting so tough, mm -hmm. I um, started working and being an adjunct professor at Southwestern Law School. So mm -hmm. I'm showing them and telling them what I go through mm -hmm. as a lawyer. And I want them to change the narrative, whether you're going to be a prosecutor, a defense attorney, some of you will become judges. Mm -hmm. Be fair to the process. Right. For real. I just want to... Yeah, the cat is already <laughs> She yeah. has already determined who I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She has sniffed me up. But yeah, I knew I this would occur because friend. animals yeah. love me and they are attracted right. to me. Right. I heard some show you guys had the other um, week where someone had a snake. Yeah. And I said, oh, Lord. Tahuti. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And they were talking about me, talking about standing from animals. Because uh, I'm one of those, I'm in, I'm plants, animals, green, ooh. earth, all that. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> that's real. That's real. That's the Leo in you. That's real. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's real. beautiful. So, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's important that people know what really happens mm -hmm. yeah, because right. they know they don't know. And, you know, the judges, they have a lot of power. Mm -hmm. You know, we're yeah. focusing on who's going to be the D.A. Right. Who are these judges? Right. 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 Why don't they reflect our community right. remotely? Mm. 80 percent of the judges in Los Angeles County mm. are Caucasian Americans. Mm. But when you mm. look. In the audience, mm. you see nothing but brown, mm. Latinos and black people. Mm. So is it that Latinos and black people don't know how to be judicial? Mm. We don't know how to be impartial. We don't know the law. It's a farce. We do. And we know it better sometimes because mm. we're held to a different standard. Right. right. No, that's a good yeah. mm. that's no point. So, yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah. So we on our plight to be. Come judge now. Yes. How did that start? <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been targeted as an attorney because mm. I'm successful. Mm. I'm friendly. Mm -hmm. I'm nice. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Until you try to not obey the law. Then I am tenacious. Mm. I don't stop until I receive the answer. Mm. Whether it be good or bad, I'm on it. Mm. And so that bugs some judges. Mm. They want to just push the case. Right, right. Just another number. I call it a cattle call. Mm. Well, that should happen on a form, mm. not where people's lives are at stake. I'm not a surgeon, but guess what? I have defended people who face the rest of their life to be incarcerated. Mm. That's tremendous. That's a whole new lifestyle. Yeah. I can wear my pink coat. Yeah. You know, that's the first step. Yeah. Right. My gloss. These, right. Are, these may be petty, but I like that's these deep. things. Yeah, yeah, that's real. That's deep. I like driving up to my house. That's right. your personality. Yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. all those things. Right. I like, my, I like my persona. Right. You just another number in prison. Right. To know that someone will be telling you what to do for the rest of your life. Mm. Mm. Locked away for life. Mm. You have to earn that. Mm. If the person has committed the crime, well, let's see what has happened. Mm. Why are you hiding evidence? Mm. Why am I receiving discovery in the murder trial? Mm. So some judges have allowed that. Mm -hmm. And they target me while I'm in the trial. Yeah. Target me. Yeah. And so... What happened is, um, what I would say, in Compton Court, there's a mural. Mm -hmm. Martin Luther King coming up on his yeah. beautiful birthday, passed. Yeah. Yeah. But his, his, month, his son just passed away. Today. I know, I yeah. heard. Yeah. Yes, tremendous. Yeah. Not to break That's you. why you got to live your life mm -hmm. to the fullest while you have the breath of life. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why I have the model that I will fly without a net. And I never look down. Yeah. I never look down. Because when I leave this life, I'm going to leave an indelible mark. 
Mm. I've made changes as I've been an attorney. I've gone to courthouses and seen unjust things occur. Mm. And people have stood against me, but I have stood in my ground and I've effectuated change. Mm. So that's why they're afraid now, mm. because I'm running for judge. Yeah. And I'm running against a judge. Yeah. And I've done it because of the unjust manner that people are being treated in the mm. Compton Courthouse. See, a judge in L.A. County yeah. can, the whole L.A. County votes for the judge. Right. Because I could be placed anywhere, not just in criminal, but I'm ready. Right. Because I can go to family law. Mm -hmm. Because when things go wrong in family court, mm -hmm. where does it end up? <laughs> criminal court. Yeah, and so right. I've got to understand the proceedings and what transpired that brought us to criminal court. Right. Mm -hmm. So right. I have to understand that. Mm -hmm. A contract dispute, something goes wrong, mm -hmm. I got to understand the nature of the contract, mm -hmm. why it went wrong, who was on one side and who was on the other. Mm -hmm. Right. Family court, I'm ready for that also. Right. Because child custody rights, people begin to say one person did something and one person did another. Yeah. I've got to understand the proceedings. Wow. And yeah. I've had over 60 plus <laughs> jury trials. Mm -hmm. And let's just say I can see my clients who face life in the grocery store on Christmas Day mm. and say hello to them as they're shopping with their family. Mm. Yeah. I've been very successful. Right. But it's because of that success that I was targeted. Wow. And mm. the unjust manner in which I was treated. Mm. I said, you know what? I can't change it here as a defense attorney. Right. Yeah. I've got to change it from that bench. Mm. Because when I take the bench, first and foremost, I'm going to treat every person with respect. Mm. And I'm going to diversify the bench. Mm. How is it that people who are presiding over you and ruling over you don't even understand you? They don't even understand how you came to be in that courtroom, but they've got an answer to the problem. But they don't. And that's why we need diversity. We need mm. you to be able to go to that colleague and say, hey, what happened? Why would this person do this? And the colleague needs to be able to tell you because I'm full circle. Mm. I can um, be in any arena and be okay. Mm. And navigate the room. Mm. And as a defense attorney, I've had to learn how to understand people because mm. that's how I convey to the jurors mm. who the person is that I'm representing. Mm. Not the person that you're going to hear about from this police officer who doesn't know him either mm. and doesn't understand the circumstances. Mm -hmm. But from getting to know him over the course of 23 years, being able to meet different people, their different backgrounds, because we're not all the same. We're not cookie cutter. <laughs> yeah, I like that. And so yeah. it just you just come from a different knowledge base. Mm, right. And so I was inspired by all of the injustice, and I finally had enough. Because in Compton Courthouse, mm. outside with Martin Luther King's mural, I'm walking in from court to from the parking lot to the courthouse, walking by his mm. mural that says, "A threat." An injustice anyway is a threat to justice everywhere. Mm. And I said, you know, I've got to do something. Because if they'll do it to me, mm. they've been doing it yeah. to yeah. other people, and they're going to continue to do it. And who but I, and better than I, to do it. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah, I hear that. That's real talk. Yeah. And that's not being vindictive, right. because the judge held me in contempt. <laughs> After 23 years, she held me in contempt, mm. but it didn't faze me. Mm. But it was an unjust act. Mm. Power in the wrong hands. Mm. So we need to take the power away from those people who misuse the power that they've been granted by the state and the county of Los Angeles mm. and put it to good, to justice, to impartiality, mm. to fairness, to knowing the law mm. and who's put, who have put in the work to demonstrate that they know the law. That's mm. me. Yeah, I believe that. And I'm yeah. ready. Yeah. I'm ready today to preside. I'm ready for my felony case. Bring it in. You're going to have a fair ruling. You're going to have a judge that knows the law. Mm. And you're going to have a smile on my face. And there will be justice served. Mm. Supposedly, people don't even know what justice means. Could you, could you tell us what justice means? First of all, justice means that when I look at you, I do see your color, but 
I don't act because of it. Mm. Because to deny that you are black men mm -hmm. would be to deny who you are mm -hmm. and what you've gone through. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be impartial, though. Mm. I'm not going to use it against you. Right. If I, yeah. And I'm going to take the time to understand you and why it is that you're coming into my court. And what can be done to make all the parties, even those who are victims of crime, how can I make all of the parties leave here feeling whole again? Well, we got to revamp the system. Because mm. mass incarceration is not it. Right. But guess what? Mm. I've been working against that since they gave it a real name. Mm. I didn't know what, I didn't have a name for it. Mm. All I knew is that jail and prison wasn't the answer for everyone. Right. And that's what they, that was their answer, but that's not an answer. What they call it, the, um, when you, you're in school and then they start testing you and they start determining that you potentially going to be someone that goes to prison. Yeah. When you're in the third grade through yeah. standardized testing mm -hmm. that uses language yeah. that we may not even use in our home. Right. It's, it's systematic. Uh, right. It, oh, yeah. Let it trip us up yeah. like that. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. I feel the passion when you, when you speak. Uh, Some might call that combative, though. Mm. Mm. Uh, passionate, though. It's, a, so, it's the strength of the Leo. It's yeah. great to see a strong female Leo on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> Priest has been only our Leo for a long time. No, it's been other Leos. We've had a couple. But yeah. Our first female Leo. Yeah. Yeah. Miyoshio. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Okay. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. So mm -hmm. I love it. I mean, I love what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. And it's been wonderful meeting all the people. I wouldn't have met you guys. Right. I would have been bogged down in my office looking at some trial. Right. <laughs> it's just like a 24 hour thing. Like you, you, you stick to it. Wow, that's that's how it's, that's real. I have I've dedicated my career to it mm -hmm. because and and also in large part it's just it's been so unfair what I've seen judges do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know my last mm -hmm. trial my client was uh, charged with attempted murder facing what 175 years to life. Wow, and a lot of what the police said he said his mm -hmm. supposed statements they call it a confession right mm -hmm. rested on the police. But the judge only let the jurors see the part where he was speaking and not the part where the police beat him up. Wow. Oh, wow. Damn. In the station. Damn. How is that just? Well, they get to see half of the version. Mm. Although in California, it says there's truth and evidence. You bring it in. Let the jury decide. <sighs> let the jury decide. Yeah. But the judges are deciding. And we got to change that. Mm-hmm. You yeah, know? definitely. Yeah. You know what you're talking about. Latinos make up about 11 percent of the bench. Mm. Mm. Black people, six to eight mm. percent. Yeah. How can we begin to understand each other when the judges aren't even able to sit in a room together to have a diversity forum? Mm. where you could talk about what diversity really means. Mm. If all mm. the people around you are like you and yeah. I'm not talking about diversity this way only. Right. I'm talking about state of mind. Right. That's, that's yeah. incredible. Yeah. That's, wow. That's wild, too. You know what I'm saying? I, we were just talking about, you know what I'm saying, integration. You know what I'm saying? And what integration has done to our people. You know what I'm saying? And it's, you know, it's like even though we are supposedly free, we are still being judged by the same people that enslaved us. Mm -hmm. So it's like, yo, where's the real, are we going to get judges from the people who see us as cattle? And as product, you know what I'm saying? I don't see no justice in that. You know what I'm saying? I feel like if it was up to me, like, we should be judged truly by our own peers and those within our own community that represent us, you know what I'm saying, as you know, people. Well, at a minimum, you've got to be edified. If you're not uh, from the community which is being impacted, you have to be open and willing to understand it. Right. And not lean into your own understanding because it's not the same. Yeah. Privilege is something else. It's privilege. Mm. Like my mom was saying, oh, Rhonda, mm -hmm. you know, you can go ahead and do this. I said, yes, speaking from a woman who's been married for 59 years. <laughs> no, there's no one who can do that for me because like sometimes you don't even recognize the privilege uh, right. that you are operating under because it's always been given to you. Mm. Yeah. And so right. injustice is why I'm running, because my platform is that I am the people's dream judge. Mm. 
That's good. Yeah. I'm the judge that Damn. you wish you had right. when you've come because I have never had a client complaint in the 23 years that I've been a deputy public defender. That's good. Good blessing. As a matter of fact, I have people calling the office asking. Yeah, I've definitely. Can you can you, yeah. And the day that the judge held yeah, me yeah, contempt, exactly. yeah. it was droves of people who came out like, "Can you be my lawyer?" Yeah. That's after the judge held me yeah. in contempt for not. I wanted to speak to my client before the case was called. Right. Yeah. So you, <laughs> yo, that's, that's how right. dare I? Like a family member. Yeah, how yeah. dare I? Right. Right. I just haul him into court without him knowing what was going on. Right. Without a formal introduction to his lawyer. Right. So, I hold it as a badge of honor. That's That's the reason why. That's the reason why she held me in contempt. And there were some other things they said, but they didn't Mm. flush out. It's clean. Okay. Mm. Who is this, the the, the court? Well, the judge. Uh, She she held me in direct contempt. What? But she had said some other contempt proceedings and she couldn't prevail on them. So she decided another way to do it. But listen, oh at the end of the day, yeah. I yeah. rise. It was inspirational. I like that. So. Because it was right there in the Compton courthouse. Mm-hmm. This is my court. Right. Mm. And in the same proceeding, I said, you're not going to stop me from representing my client. Yeah. Right. Because you have to stand up to injustice. Yeah. And it has a price. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It yeah. has a price, yeah. and I am willing to pay the price yeah. because justice is a beautiful thing. True, yeah. true justice. Right. Yeah. No one loses when true justice is administered. Damn. But an unjust result will always have a loser. Damn. Yeah. I remember one time I was locked up. Yeah, yeah give us a ball for that, uh, man. That was- I was in prison and they was they sent us around like a little grilled cheese sandwich and some tomato paste. Hmm. And I told the brothers, I was like, yo, if we take this meal right here, what you think tomorrow go look like? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And you only eating from six o'clock in the evening to six in the morning. If you don't have no canteen, that's 12 hours of not eating. So mm. you just got that little sandwich and tomato paste. And I was at that time, I was like 20. I'm like, I'm not going for it. I'm not going for it, Joe. You know, y'all yeah, gonna have to mm-hmm. come and fight. Right. So literally, you know what I'm saying? I got into a fight. AD seen the video. I got into a fight with him. He drug me out, put me in a um, four point restraints, locked me down on the bed for twenty for forty eight hours. What's a four point restraint? Uh four point restraint is when they uh pay you on your back and they uh strap your wrist to the bed and strap your legs to the bed and you can't move. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah. 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 And they stay and keep you like that for, for uh they only let you get up to eat and you know use the bathroom. That's legal. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. That's yeah. That's yeah. That's 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 that Listen, wild. That's, but this is Virginia. <laughs> Virginia's a Commonwealth state oh, and it's no, a Virginia, real super they were racist doing strength. No business doing. <laughs> but I say that to say you that. You needed me. I was, you should have stri- written me about this. I would have been there if in a heartbeat. If I'd have known you at that Fight time, I definitely would have called you up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It is terrible. It's trouty. To- but uh, like you said, you know what I'm saying? Standing up to justice has a price. Yes, it does. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of brothers, you know what I'm saying? We go through a lot of things and we turn a lot of blind eye because we don't want the force of physical confrontation with a powerful force that you know, like at the end of the day, if I, if I take this stand, I'm getting beat up. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of brothers don't want to take that stand. And there's a lot of reason why we have the situation that we're in now because people don't want to stand up against injustice. Cool thing about it is after I was released and let back up and was able to move around in my cell, the warden came. Mm. And the warden came to my cell and he was like, Mr. Snare, I just want to say that I apologize for what happened to you and you will never receive a meal like that again. That's awesome. You know what I'm saying? That's but worth it, it. Yeah, yeah, but it, it took you know, me standing it. up and yeah. putting my life it's on the line. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For yeah. you know, what I felt was right at the time. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But how many brothers is willing to do that? How many people are willing to sacrifice themselves? You know right, what I'm saying? Right, right. Like that new movie that's coming out called uh, uh, The Book of Clarence. Yeah. Where he, you know what I'm saying? He sacrifices himself for his people, you know what I'm saying? Or with, the, or with Jesus, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? We really live in a time, like we were talking about, the Romans rule everything. Yes. And the yeah. Romans' number one rule is you can't have a Messiah. 
Mm -hmm. So when you step up and you declare yourself to be a Messiah for your people, mm -hmm. be ready to bear that cross. Right. That's the right. rules that we live in today. That's well, exceptional wouldn't be exceptional if everyone did it. Fact. Right. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's what you're doing right now. That's yeah. I'm exceptional. Yeah. And yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, there are a lot of barriers that um, you come across because there's a process that's archaic. Mm -hmm. And it's been in existence mm. for a long time. Right. And I believe that it is contributing to the lack of diversity. And uh, they need to be breaking down. Mm. They need to be broken down. And I'm <laughs> just the person to do it. Yeah. You know, I um, teach criminal procedure and litigation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, I feel so good when I'm there right? because I'm influencing future lawyers and judges, right? Right. Mm -hmm. And all I really talk about is fairness and courage and equity wow. and being strong. Yeah. And uh, we recently went to a um, mock trial where they were competing. Mm -hmm. And it's the Joan Benet Ramsey story. Right. Mm. So you have the defense and the prosecutor. Right. And um, it's the Black Student Lawyers Association. Okay. You know, the organization they have for the black students to mm. come in. That they need some more support because historically we haven't been a part of these organizations and these universities. So mm. those type of organizations are there to give us the support we need to, you know, persevere. Mm. And there, my team was amongst the winners, and so we're going to be okay. going to nationals. Yeah. And I just, I love what I do. I can But tell I'm that. ready to take it to the next level. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So I can teach people the law. Yeah. I'm teaching them how to win because I'm teaching them the criminal procedure aspect of it. Right. That's like our rights, like Miranda, your right to remain mm. silent. Right. You know, all those fundamental rights. You know, the right to marry into um, uh, anyone you want to marry, no matter what ethnic color they are, or, you can get married. Right. So all of those laws, I'm teaching them the essence of that. Mm. And then I'm teaching them how to litigate it and win. Right. Now, what, what you're doing, is it considered taboo? Oh, yes. Mm. But guess what? That's why you need me. Hey. Right, right. Yeah. How are you going to effectuate change doing things the same way? Right. That's true. You know, I true. came to a courthouse where if you were charged with a crime, mm -hmm. you would meet the prosecutor first. Mm -hmm. And then they tell you your charge. Mm -hmm. And they say, oh, do you want a lawyer? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what? Mm -hmm. So I tell my boss, don't assign me there. Right. If you don't want to be in court with me every day, do not assign me there. Right. Oh, mm -hmm. well, this has been going on since 1974. I said, what? The year was born? No way. <laughs> this is not right. happening. Right. And so I went and I changed it. Mm. Wow. But it was not without strife. The judge decided he didn't want to hear my cases anymore. So mm. all the other judges had to come from their courtrooms mm. to hear the cases. But I fought against it. You beat the prosecutor first, then you tell them the Constitution says that's illegal, yeah. unconstitutional, yeah. unjust. Forget, the, forget that. It's unjust. Right. The person who's accusing you, you meet them first. Right. Then they make you an offer, and you, I'm not witnessing it. It's based on their word, what they tell you. Right. And you got to tell them whether you want a lawyer or not. Mm. Mm. Sounds unjust to me. Yeah. 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 Criminalizing yourself or uh, having a potential too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so we fought. And um, the public defender's office stood behind me. Wow. And we changed it. Man, wow. remember. Man. Yeah. She's a lawyer, man. You you make it seem like we all can just go up there and talk. talk. <laughs> yeah. Gotta, yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. For real. Yeah. Yeah. Fashion too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know. You gave me inspiration just by just sitting there. I feel like yeah. I'm going to court tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> all the time and stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's not easy. You yeah. know, I've had a lot of rough days. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, at one time I had four contempt proceedings pending against me. Mm -hmm. They're going to get Rhonda Heyman. Mm -hmm. Why are they after me if I'm just pleading people left and right, mm -hmm. if I'm not smart, if I don't know the law? You think they'd be bothering with me? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They wouldn't care less about me. Mm -hmm. I'm only a threat if I'm going up against that. 
unjust mm. system. But the old tradition. Old tradition. Yeah. The old way of doing things. When we know it doesn't work, throwing people in jail does not work. Yeah. You bring them out to the community, and what have we gained? Mm. Nothing. Social anxiety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what have we gone gained? Right. Someone who sees the Oreo cookies right. opening from a different way. Because right. remember, they used to, used to tear it open from the front part. Right. Now yeah. you lift it up in the middle. Y'all know y'all eat Oreos. Yeah, Stop yeah, playing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you lift it up from the middle. Yeah, it's right? More bougie, mm-hmm. yeah. I saw bougie. <laughs> Tears come to someone's eyes because during the time frame, mm. they didn't change how you open up Oreo cookies. Something so simple. So that's why I could talk about lipstick and not, I'm not minimizing right. incarceration. Right, right. Because it's a heavy load. Yeah. Right? And there are going to be some that say, but what about the victims? Mm-hmm. Well, I'd like to see a day where no one wants to do a smash and grab. Mm-hmm. You know why? Mm. Because you're going to give them something to lose. Any man who can go on video, Mm. Without a mask on mm. and go and smash and grab something? Is that a man that has something to lose? Mm. No. That tells me he don't even have a job. Mm. He's not worried about his employer seeing him. Mm. What about his family? Is he worried about his family seeing him? Yeah. Mm. No. That, we got to give people something to lose. Something that they can say is theirs and in their community. Mm-hmm. So they never think about doing those things. But it don't start with incarceration. Well, yeah. where it started? Ooh, home, <laughs> love, right. mom and dad. Mm-hmm. And then if you have to have surrogates, those people knowing how to love. Right. Justice is born out of love. Mm. That's real. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Love. You can yeah. have no justice without love. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. It's all about understanding. Wow. They talk about, you know, the canons of um, the judiciary. They are state sound. So beautiful. I wish I had experienced a lot of it. But mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they sound so beautiful. I say, I want to see a courtroom like that. Mm. Where a judge, impropriety, it's the appearance the mere appearance of impropriety. Mm. Not that you've actually done it, mm-hmm. but that you're doing anything that appears to be making you look unfair. Mm. When the That's judge weird. would do the things that she was doing to me, like call my cases mm. while I'm walking through the courtroom, yeah. how does that make my client feel? Right. You know, the public wow. defender already gets a bad rap yeah. that we don't have respect for our clients. Right. Well, the judge doesn't either. Right. How is that client supposed to have faith in me? Right. If the judge doesn't give me the respect of coming to counsel table right. and requesting my case to be called. Right. Mm. How can my client have faith in the system? Mm. The judge is not supposed to do anything that makes you lose faith that the system will be fair and just to you. Mm. Wow. So that's, that's why it's time for me to take to the bench and... It's time for my opponent to go. Man, I think you get that spot, man. Crime would be down 20%. That's why they're scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 70% That's why they're crime. saying the things yeah. that yeah. it's something like your grandma. When you come mm. in, I'm not grandmother material yet, but still. Hey. It's just like there's a certain level of respect because you know she knows you better than your mama. You're going to get it. Huh? Better yeah. than your mama, right? Yeah. So you're like, I can't let grandmama down. No. Yeah. Right? And plus, you know, she's the smartest person in the room, Mm -hmm. her granddaddy. They're the smartest people, right? And so you have a certain, like, I can't let her down. Let me do this. Let Mm -hmm. me do that. Mm -hmm. And that's what you need for the courtroom. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can't let Judge Heyman down. Yeah, she, that's, she let me do this. I gotta make sure I get this done. That's what I want. Yeah. Any any penalty for conduct, I want to be just. Yeah. I'm not gonna make snap decisions. I'm gonna follow the law. I'm gonna use discernment, mm. and I'm gonna do it all in love for the law mm. and the spirit of the law. And in changing, I want to effectuate change. I don't want to be a part of the status quo. Mm. Give up, all matey. Yeah. My bombs don't do it. She need one of AD bombs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's just real, man, because the system, man, you know what I'm saying? As a person that's been in the system for, you know what I'm saying, a cool minute, it's like 
you know what I'm saying? Um, to me, it just really never made no sense. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't teach you for one growing up. They tell you that not having, not having understanding of the law does not make you, uh, um, not knowing the law doesn't make you exempt from it. What's that saying? Ignorance if you don't know the law, law is not yeah, ignorance defense. of the law is not a defense. Not a defense. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But majority of the people in the community are ignorant of the law. Yeah. Like judges are real powerful. Mm-hmm. And that's why we got to like, I want to motivate this younger community. This is your, this is your world. Yeah. You're going to be inheriting this next. Mm-hmm. It is your inheritance. That's real talk. Right? So judges are powerful. Yeah. And you know, people think, oh, I have a felony. I can't vote. Yes, you can. Wow. Yes, you can. Yeah. <laughs> you can vote as long as you are not in prison on a felony sentence. Mm-hmm. That's it. You can vote. People have died for your right, literally. Literally, yeah. Died for the right to vote. It's powerful. Yeah. It's how you change things. We didn't make up these rules. It's just how you do it. Right. You got to get out and vote. People give up. And I'm telling you, it's their experiences in court yeah. that tell them that, you know, when dads go to try to get um, access to their children and custody rights, you have people on the bench trying to do everything they can. Mm-hmm. To not allow a dad to see his kids, mm, yeah. you know, uh, because they don't understand it for themselves. Right. And it's it's just mind blowing because right. they don't understand the family dynamics. I was in court one day mm. and one of my clients, uh, the judge was talking to him and he goes, yeah, that's my woman. Oh, you being disrespectful. Mm. I'm like, I'm sorry, your honor. That is not disrespectful. That's a term of endearment. Yeah. Why is he's not disrespecting her? You know, mm. just understanding. Well, the who people. was this woman? That's no, true. my client's uh, woman was. It was in the audience. Oh, okay. and he told the judge, "That's my woman." Oh, yeah. And the judge thought he was disrespecting her. Oh, wow. And he was like, "Oh, don't disrespect her like that." And so I was like, "No, that's." And he'd been sitting in this particular area for a while, yeah. mm-hmm. so he should be learning the culture. Hey, that's how you go. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's real. We got yeah. people in the chat saying they would vote for you. Yeah, definitely. I, you got my vote. <laughs> and we also yeah, got, you got my uh, vote. We got one super chat here that's already gone now, but I'll pull it up. Oh, oh what they say? Uh, it's challenging. Uh, David Flores, yeah. Yeah, said, David oh. Flores. He said, uh, I, th- I think he said it. He was saying you'll something positive. Judge, yeah, you'll yeah. make an excellent judge. Yeah. Thank I you. can see you as a judge. You speak like it. You speak like a judge. Yeah. Plus, you're Leo. So. <laughs> Smile. This judge is gonna smile. Hey, that's what we need to see more. Because my courtroom is gonna be known as the courtroom. I'm speaking it into existence, hey. where justice will prevail. Yeah. It's happened for my clients. Even though I've hit some rough, rough roads. Yeah. We come out victorious. And you know, another inspirational thing for me running for judge mm-hmm. was my last jury trial. The judge really didn't like me. Right. He wow. did not like me. And it's because I was formidable. Mm-hmm. I was up against a DA who'd never lost a case. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, my client, a uh, mm-hmm. very smart young man. Mm-hmm. And when the verdict came, right. the judge was upset. Mm. So I turned to my client. I said, you've been acquitted. Before the verdict was read. Damn. That's an unjust judge. When you can look at a man and he expresses disappointment mm-hmm. because the jury has spoken a not guilty on a 175 to life sentence he would have stayed sink. Mm, wow. He wanted to sentence him. He wanted that day. He probably wanted to sentence me too. But <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, can you imagine? Yeah, can you imagine? People say, oh my gosh, you turned to your client and said that. Yes, I did. Because I could read his face. That's mm. another thing about me also is I have the ability to look at people and watch and hear what they're saying. Mm. And kind of understand where they're coming from. That's how I select my juries. That's real. 
That makes and sense. You in a you in a field where you watching. Yeah, movies. you you know, understanding human dynamics and yeah. people. And the more you know about people and interactions, especially in this field of the law, mm -hmm. you're able to make conscious, informed decisions. Mm. Mm. And you know, the person I'm running with, they never actually practiced law in California, but I have 23 years mm -hmm. in the courtroom, uh. standing up against the system, representing those people who people will say do not have or deserve a voice. Mm. And people have been elected as prosecutors all this whole time, and we all say we want change. Mm. Well, then we got to make different choices. Mm. That was yeah. the hardest one. Just think, Shout out to Chloe too, sure. when I met yeah. Mr. Snare, mm -hmm. I didn't know we would meet again. Mm -mm. He was someone who was in custody. Mm -hmm. And I treated him with respect and dignity. Mm -hmm. After 23 years, I feel like this is my first day. Damn. Wow. Wow. People are like, oh, I'm jaded, I'm this. Well, it's time for you to get a new job. Mm -hmm. Because these people don't need a jaded person. Mm -hmm. These people need a person that's ready for work. That's real. That's right. Man, you got me ready to run man. through the wall. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Like a coach yeah, here. Put you yes, <laughs> definitely got like for real. Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of passion. Yeah. I want to thank you guys for letting me have this platform because I know this isn't the most appealing, but we got to get this out there. Yeah, I think it's community. important. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Yeah. I was just telling priests earlier, I was like, you know, especially us as a people, like we'll sit in, we'll sit here and we'll talk to about Cat Williams and Shannon Sharps, a football player and a, uh, and a comedian, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, it's always bothered me that in our society, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the black people that are endured are endeared or are comedians. The, the, you know, the jokesters of the community, you know what I'm saying? Not people that are really serious and putting in the work in the community. Like a lot of my comrades and stuff that don't get a lot of the attention and stuff like that. They don't get the bright lights and stuff like that. But the issues that are really, really important to us, we should have those still at the forefront, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. they still affect us yeah. a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? Losing your life. You know what I'm saying? Like I was telling her when I was lost, I got a lot to lose. You know what I'm saying? I got four seeds, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I, every day that passes by, I'm losing. Yeah. That's why we need You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's important, man, that, you know, things like this, man, that they come out there to the community because we at war. I tell my daughters all the time, you're only two generations out of slavery. This is real out here, you know what I'm saying? It, this ain't no cakewalk. Mm. We have to educate people. We have to, don't give up. You cannot give up. You have to let people know that these things are important. Yeah. Got to get it out there. And you got to get more people who look like you. Yeah. Yeah. So you can say, I can do it. But do it's you, the reality. Right. Do you think that they think it's too hard or soft or, or something too nerdy to do? I'm not no nerd. That's I got right. my pink on. I wear yeah. it for nah, That's right. That's right. Because you make it. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying that because you make it exciting. Yeah. You make it seem very exciting. And it, and it's like, I would never definitely vote for you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, exactly. I was just going to say, moment. like, I think it goes back to, like, knowing yourself, right? Like, you got to know yourself at the end of the day. If that's who you are, to be a, a fighter, be a lawyer. You know what I mean? That's. It takes yeah, a lot of passion, good. takes a lot of understanding, like you said. And that's good that you break it down from the core. And you can't come in there in pink and not know the law. That's dope. You got to make sure you're on like top that. of it. I like that. You can't be talking about you're going to stand up and stand against and not know it. You got to know it cold yeah. because mm -hmm. that that's really where the challenge is. Mm -hmm. that, that's the threat. If right. you don't know what you're doing, you're not a threat. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's being at the top of your game. And that's why I know I'm ready to preside today. Yeah. All right. I'm ready. And I want to knock down these institutions. It's kind of like me versus the little guy, the big guy, right? Mm -hmm. The judge thought, I'm going to hold Rhonda Heyman in contempt. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to ruin her career. And But none of that happened, Right. by the way. Mm -hmm. And on top of it, Hit that like. <laughs> yeah, go ahead, go ahead. Then on top of it. Oh, yeah, see. Ah! Yo, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He can't buck it out. <laughs> he did. Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, he's not gonna. He just he just makes that he's like hissing and stuff like sure. that. 
And on top of it. He'll be back, though. Yeah, I know. (laughs) He'll be back. Don't worry about it. You know what? Are you a Leo? Yeah. He's a Virgo. A Virgo? Oh, <laughs> Lord. That's why he's such a picky eater. Yeah. yeah. I have to chicken at That look, he's coming for a snack it's a, now. It's, it's September. It's, it's a routine, uh, I told yeah, you. September. It's a routine. Oh yeah, yeah. August twenty. I'm about to say close to Leo. Yeah. Yes. August twenty. Yes, I said it's uh, close to Leo. Fourteen yeah, exactly. year old cat. Yeah, exactly. You know what? At fourteen, you can do anything you want to do. Yeah. 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 You you've earned your rights. <laughs> you think, sure have. Cat his cat years. rights. His cat rights. <laughs> He's like sixty five in cat years. Yes. Yeah. You go, uh, you go ahead on. You go ahead on. Senior citizen. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You're After crazy. a certain time, you they get to do what they want to do. Yeah. So we've got your flyer on screen right here too. Hey. Oh, that's right. That's beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So seat number twelve, Rhonda mm-hmm. Heyman, seat number twelve. Mm-hmm. I stand with me. You will go far. Mm-hmm. Fairness, accountability, and respect. I've mm-hmm. never voted before, but I'm going to go vote. I yeah. love it. You, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And listen, take three with you. Okay? Mm. Yeah. Take Because we've got to change it. Yeah. Do you understand the power that would be communicated when I'm talking? I want to effectuate change, and you know I'm going to do it. Mm. Come on. I'm going to do it. I believe, yeah. That's why they're so scared. Yeah. I'm going to do it. I see it. Yeah, yeah exactly. I love what it. advice would you give to a lot of brothers out there that's you know what I'm saying, that that might get caught up in the law or anything like that. What kind of advice would you give them? Like, Well, I say this, that, you know, everyone has, like you said, a history. And you talked about the positive and the negative. There is light. Mm-hmm. That it is not the end of the world. And be smart. Mm-hmm. See, that's why I talk about the fact that the judges, they don't follow Humphrey. That's a law that says, listen, in order to keep someone and set a bail for a person, You've got to consider their ability to pay. Right. You can't use bail as a means of just keeping someone locked up. Right? Mm -hmm. So a lot of times when bail is set high, the prosecutors know, and they can't get out, people want to go home. Yeah. So they take all these deals, which saddle them. Guilty. You know what I'm going to say? Be courageous. Believe in something outside of yourself Mm. and attach to it, Mm. not just in the hard times, but if you didn't discover it, discover it then and continue. You got to be courageous and believe that I'm courageous. Mm -hmm. I'm going up against the judge. Right. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. First question asked is, oh, you're running against the incumbent. Yes. But that's why the judges come before us every six years for us to say, you're okay. Mm-hmm. Well, I say my opponent is what? Not, Not okay. Yeah. yeah. And guess well, what? We have the power to decide. Mm-hmm. We have the stamp. Mm-hmm. We give them the stamp of approval. They are not elected for life. Yeah. Oh, well, what has she done wrong? Be unjust. Mm-hmm. Damn. Mm-hmm. Damn. Yeah. Trust me, she's done it to someone else. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, and she's sitting at home now. Mm-hmm. She's not even presiding on the bench. I'm going to be on the bench. Mm. I'm not going to be working from home. Mm. I'm going to be disseminating justice in a courtroom. Damn. And working on diversifying the bench because we need it. That's right. the only way we're going to have safer communities. Mm-hmm. It's understanding the community. Mm-hmm. How can you repair something that you don't know about? That's like me going to go say I'm going to work on a car. Mm. I'm the last person you want to see near your car. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you don't want to see me. First of all, my pink going to get in, impacted, my nails. I'm not doing that. Uh, yeah. Is that your favorite color? Well, Delta would tell me no. But <laughs> amongst, amongst. Right, 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 right. I got you. I got you. So, right. courage. Mm-hmm. Even when it seems dark. Because when people would ask me, ooh, you got all these contempts pending. Mm. I said, I've already claimed the victory. You don't know my business because you mean no good business. Mm. I've already claimed the victory and they all just fell off. Yeah. I had contempts pending on cases I had had dismissed. Mm. Oh, that's big. That's big. Client 
in the audience was going to be in the audience for the hearing with his letter thanking me because he held out I said do not take this deal mm. do not take this deal he was not guilty mm. he was the actual victim mm. and I brought it to the DA and I had to keep impressing upon them this is what happened this is what happened and finally they dismissed the case and I had a contempt pending for interrupting the court, court proceedings. I interrupted the court proceedings by actually trying to get in evidence. Man, that's powerful. That's crazy. That's powerful. So we got to stop it. And that's how we're going to end it, by electing me when you know that I'm yeah, promising we, justice. Yeah. You know, I think the people see that. Yeah. yeah <laughs> They're supposed to came with the clap right there. But <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was that. That's crazy. You got. You definitely gonna get our vote, man. For real, man. Yeah, um, that's real. We gotta do. It's a movement, yeah, it's a, right? Mm -hmm. It's a movement. It's understanding the power of judges. The, everything we do, even what you can broadcast, a judge has had his hand in it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The patent on this mic. Mm -hmm. This mic has a certain. I don't even know what you call it. That amplifies. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Someone, diaphragm. What is it called? Diaphragm. Diaphragm. Bingo. Mm -hmm. That has a patent on it. Yeah. A judge signed off on that patent or did right. not. On the first one or not. Right. Their judges have their hand in everything. They are powerful. Mm -hmm. And we need to know that, especially at the local level. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially at the local level. At the local level. Mm -hmm. That impacts us directly. We're working about the president. Yeah. What about the city of Compton, the city of Inglewood, the city of Los Angeles, right. Pasadena, Glendora? They're being impacted by judges. Mm. Yeah. They are powerful. Man, if you're in the Compton area, uh, shout out to Ceaseless, man. Um, all around LA, you have to vote. I, you got my vote. I mean, for Rhonda, man, she's heavy, man. Yeah. This is, you make it exciting, and you make it, she's a Leo, too. Because from the heart, uh, I can tell, but, yeah. But you make it exciting, and it's like, I wouldn't, I couldn't even be, imagine being um, locked up and not having you as my attorney, because you, for real, I see, I see what it is. It's like, man, innovative, just... Man, you said, I, I think you'd get me out of You should have been uh, the lawyer for Jesus. <laughs> you'd have got him off that phone. Oh, like, with Pontius Pilate. Yeah, Pontius Pilate. <laughs> he'd have definitely, definitely <laughs> got out. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> It'd be no savior. There would definitely been some persuading going on. Yeah, Ooh, yeah exactly. That would have been my biggest case. Yeah, yeah. So we, we've got your uh, email up here. You've got a website. Yes. Rhonda Heyman for judge 2024com We're going to yes. put that in the description. Thank We're you. gonna put your email in the description. And how can people at home who haven't voted before? How do they even get started? Do they go okay. to the Civic Center? So you go to lavote.gov, lavote.gov, and it will give you all you need to vote. Register. It'll tell you where you, if you want to do a mail-in ballot. It'll tell you how to do that. If you want to go and. Um, vote in person, you can do that as well. LAVote.gov. Cool. Everyone can vote except those who are currently serving a prison sentence on a felony. Mm -hmm. On a felony. Use your right to vote. And those links are in the description. Yes, they are. Rhonda Heyman, the People's Dream Judge. Wow. With me, you will go far. Hey, that's crazy. Nice. You got a good yeah. campaign. At a court near you. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, that's yeah. lovely. That's, 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 that's lovely. Mm -hmm. man. That's real. Yeah, man. You know, it's, it's, it's rare, man, that you come across people that really care about what they're doing. Yeah. And you can see it vibrate from them. Yeah, you know what I'm passion. saying? Yeah. And when you actually can see that, it inspires. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It brings inspiration to you. It's like, you know what? There's possibility for change. Yeah. And you know what? That's that Leo. You see how Karis One speak? And how you speak for hip hop? And that's how she is for that. Karis One is a Leo. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah, she's speaking for that. That's dope. Oh, wow. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, okay. Blast Blast Secure. Uh, you need to get a t shirt with these names. It's <laughs> Leo season. Yeah. But you know what, though? Mm. Can you imagine a world where we all could win together? That's what I'm talking yeah, about. People thing. think that we can't all win together, but we can. Mm hmm. Yeah. We can all win together. Yeah. As long as no one is trying to hold us back. Man, mm -hmm. she's right up. Man, she, yeah. I, she we right can win seat. together. Yeah. And that's what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. That's, a, that's our history that's as a people, too, because, you know, I believe that when we ruled, you know what I'm saying, the world did have freedom, justice, and equality. Ooh, those you are some powerful saying? words. Yeah. Freedom, justice, and equality. equality. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. But yeah. now I think we just live in a world where, you know what I'm saying, the powers that be preach that to us, but don't live that at all. Yeah. That's just something that yeah. they use as a stopping gate to stop us from, you know what I'm saying, Thanks really so. gaining our real true power and really gaining where we're supposed to be. They use freedom, mm -hmm. justice, and equality as, as something on the road for you, something for you to aspire to. Mm -hmm. the revolution. But it's not really mm -hmm. obtainable mm -hmm. in their eyes because their main thing is just to keep and hold power. Yeah. But you know, they're in bondage also. Ooh, they're not talk free. To them. Talk to they them. Only think that they haven't they haven't tasted freedom. Mm. That's 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 the end all be all is that anyone seeking to destroy is captive themselves. Yo, give her a bomb. Yeah, you need a real yeah. bomb. Mommy gave me eight. Wow. He gave me the, the soft bombs. <laughs> I see that too, yeah. though, because even when them putting us in slavery, they had to enslave themselves. Mm. I mean, it's just yeah. cool. That's yeah. Or the, the dreams and nightmares of what they saw. They saw it. They can. They can't unsee it. Yeah. They saw it themselves. Mm. So they were. They were just as a part of it. So that's why I say, you know, I, I firmly believe that we can all win together. And it's not just talk. Yeah. I walk the walk and talk the talk. Because yeah. even while I was representing Mr. Snare, mm -hmm. I was going through the things with these judges. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I was candid about it. That's dope. But it never stopped me from fighting. In fact, it inspired me more. So that's why when people say, oh, you're running based on the vendetta, this is bigger than my opponent. Mm -hmm. This is bigger than myself. I want to effectuate change on measures beyond who I am. Yeah. And that's because I'm courageous and not courageous is not to be confused with reckless. Mm. I'm not reckless because I know the law. Yeah. I understand how people operate and move. I have experience mm. within this system mm. and I know I've been studying it. And I know what works. Mm. And that's why I've been able to bring my clients home with these jurors. Mm. Because I'm able to speak to them on a level where they understand and they get how someone can get caught up in a situation or circumstances that oh, appear like, oh, he's guilty. Mm -hmm. But when you unpeel and unpack those layers, you see what it really is. Mm. That's not easy. That's not easy. Oh, man. Yeah, that's that's real. Real. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, we'll definitely, definitely invite you back, man. Oh, please. Too. That, that was incredible. Uh, and I, I want to see how far, you know, what, what you're doing, what you're going to be behind you. You know what I'm saying? It's like, that's dope because she's really passionate and really deep about that, man. That's, 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 uh, I, I believe you. You know, I was just, uh, and I already know because the passion is there and everything else. And um, you definitely need to be the judge. You know, for real, I can see you at a help. I think by that, it, that is, they wouldn't want to do no crime or anything. Or, but just if they misinform or miss, you know, how many people that did things that, I mean, that were accused of things that they didn't even do? Well, I spent, I spent a lot of my time as a defense attorney mm -hmm. just getting to the charge that should have been charged. Right. Right. Okay. All right. I got you. All right. That's hard. Well, man, I'm, I'll thank you for coming. Thank you. And for real. Thank you for very real. Much. We got to get. I, I, I want to keep you here for the music. Yes. <laughs> you like yes. music? Yeah. You are like music. Yeah, of course. Are you kidding it. me? I love it. That was great. I love it. I love uh, it. You know, I used to be a professional uh, dancer. Yeah. Ballet, martyr, hey. all those things. 
And you know, music is like my second love. Yeah, this That's was how dope, I got man. my name. Yeah, 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 exactly. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. My dad was in the military, mm-hmm. and he flew rescue missions, and he was stationed in Hawaii. Right. When the Beach Boys came out with the song "Help Me, Rhonda." Okay, help me. And it was one of his favorite songs, <laughs> ah. and so. That's how I received my name. Wow, that's fire. Yeah. That's fire, awesome. man. That's dope, man. Yo, this so, is dope. Yeah, dope. Rhonda Heyman, seat number 12 for judge. Yeah, let's put all our information out there. People's dream judge. Yeah, no doubt, man. And see, I'm even being unconventional <clears throat> with my arms out. Mm-hmm. What's Alaska? I'm unique, I'm Alaska. different. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Hey. But it doesn't mean I'm not qualified. Because hey, I am qualified. Yeah, yeah, that's dope. Very intelligent. Yeah. Very intelligent. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fun learning. You know what I'm saying? It's fun learning this. This, is, yes. this has been uh, educational. Yeah. Well, this is AD. AD is, um, let me properly introduce him. AD is the engineer of the whole show and stuff like that. He runs the whole equipment and stuff. You got any questions, AD? No. Nope. Not, not about oh, your case. Um, Suits. <laughs> that TV show Suits. Oh, yes, I like that show. How you like that show? Isn't it crazy? I love that show. <laughs> when, when I started watching that show, it made me want to become a lawyer. By the end of the fourth season, it was the last thing I ever wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like so much chaos. It, well, it can be. Yeah. But I like that show. Yeah. I love the wardrobe, too, though. <laughs> right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. always in suits. It's kind of crazy. But that in-house, it's a great show. It's a great show. Well written show, and I love the strength of uh, not not just Donna, but I forgot the, uh, the, the the main lady that was in charge. Oh yeah, she wanted to have her own show also. Oh, she was but good. She was good. Her clothes were fabulous. Mm. You gotta have the whole look, Jessica. Just ah mm. yes, you gotta have it all. You know, yeah, the look, yeah, yeah, yeah. the brains, Very the powerful. beauty is wonderful. Because right. I love that show. Yeah, that's great. Y'all gotta see Suits. Yes. Binge watch it. Oh, I'm gonna right, check it okay. out. I'm gonna check it out. Right, I'm, yeah. I'm still. Is he? Dun, look at that. Is he? Do, 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 do. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> See, look at her pearls. See, uh-huh. yes, uh-huh. magnificent. <clears throat> All dressed up. Yes. Looks mm. good. But, she, but when she speaks, though, it's powerful. Mm-hmm. And it's like, man, no wonder she's the boss. Yep. Yeah. Like when you watch that okay. show, you realize, okay, I can see why she's in charge. Mm. Yep. Just really good casting. It is. It's a great show. That's all I wanted to say. That's great. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. a man. So Yo. please don't let this be the last time. Oh, nah, no, for sure. Yeah, definitely, definitely. No, nah, it won't. It won't. Definitely man. won't. Hard. Nowadays, hard. everyone needs uh, that legal type of security with all the things happening in the world, especially in the music industry. Hit that like button, y'all. Yes. Yes. Sir. Yeah. You know? hit, hit that yes. like. Tell them we're here right now. Oh, somebody said Wanda smiles, raises frequency by yeah, itself. Yeah. Well, hey, <laughs> that's, I agree, yeah. that's sweet. Yeah, so I'll say he agree. It's important that the people relate to you. Mm, that's real. And that you relate to people. Yeah, that's real. Yeah. That everything you you say is a jewel, man. It's just like she dropped jewel, right? You just wanna like listen. Yo, man. Yeah. For real. That's that's it is it, that's can't be taught right there. That's, we that, got Demetrius you. says, Hope you win your judge's seat, Miss Rhonda Heyman. Yeah. Thank you. No Thank doubt. you very much. M Kush says, Hope she wins. Hey. I need all I'm of your positive. votes. I'm running against an incumbent. Yeah. And people vote just because she was there before. So we got to make some changes. Yo. Yeah. Make that change. <laughs> 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 Thank you. 